we are combining the stem cells with the synthetic bone. In practically that combination, we can obtain a more faster regenerated than without stem cells. When the patient doesn't have enough volume in the bone, what does mean that? With a CT scan, that is possible to detect it, what is the bone available for applying implants. If for any reason and the bottom or in the top doesn't have more than eight millimeters of the bone available, well, in that moment I need to think in and increase that volume with the bone graph. In that moment, I need to think in and divide it, that procedure not in two steps, maybe in three steps. Definitely, the most common option for use it is an artificial bone, right? Because it's so difficult uh, to try to recall it, recall it to, to the hip or to the another area in the same day. That is practically the reason for use a synthetic bone. We are combining the stem cells with the synthetic bone. In practically that combination, we can obtain a more faster regenerated than without stem cells. Practically, this is part of the new one technique in the, in the SANI. The first step is when I go for apply a bone graft, combine it with the stem cells, and use a membranes and try to leave it to the healing dangers. Second appointment, apply an implants. If after applying implants, it's necessary to wait at least, again, four or six months. In four or six months, the patients will be received the final danger. MTC is with you every step of the way. For your medical or dental trip, contact MTC today.